Hey folks, it's Don from BrainBlinks.com with another developer diary. I'm doubling down today. I just finished the one for uh, Chunky Orbit, the first beta and the early access for that. And I figured I got everything set up. I'll talk about my other project, Xenofarm. Uh, Xenofarm is a science fiction farming simulation. I started working on it, I don't know, almost three years ago now, I guess. And uh, I got some prototypes working, got some nice systems worked up for it. I was really happy with the progress I was making. And then I got Crash Lander accepted on Steam. So I spent quite a bit of time getting that polished up, published on Steam, updated, improved, and uh, spent a lot of time keeping up with the changes in the Oculus SDK over the years. and and basically just learning more about Unity and improving my coding skills. And then a couple months ago, got the Oculus Touch dev kit. Thanks Oculus. It was really a big boost to my efforts here. Um, but after playing around with those for a while, I decided that it'd be a great fit for Xenofarm and making a full-on VR room scale track controller version of the sim. So that's what I've been working on. And I've got, I don't know, a couple months of work on uh, this new prototype, and I figured I'd show you what I got. Let's see if I'm okay. Hard to keep track of where my camera is in VR. So, um, if you've been following me for a long time, you might have seen some of the earlier dev diaries where I go into more detail about the systems I've got working here. Um, if you're interested, go check out my channel. Uh, there's three or four of them on there. Um, but basically, this is a science fiction farming simulation and one of my goals is to let the player plant and grow their plants anywhere. You know, I really love growing food in video games, but it's always kind of a pet peeve of mine that you have to only grow them in certain places and usually in a, in a grid-like setup. But uh, I want the player to be able to put their plants anywhere and then have the plants react to their environment. So they'll grow differently depending on the uh, type of soil and the water and how many nutrients are in the soil and how many plants are around them or what kind of plants are around them even. So all those systems are in place. I've got this Unity Terrain that actually changes the textures and colors of the terrain depending on of what's in the soil and this is a procedurally generated uh, setup for the soil. I've got some proc gen terrain going but it wasn't as interesting as I wanted so I set up this preset one for my testing purposes. Um, so the basic uh, premise of the game I guess is that you're going to be a, like a cosmic sharecropper. Um, living on the edge of space, maybe on like a barren asteroid that some big company has carved up and uh, done some simple terraforming and they're hiring people to come work the land. And your task is going to be to grow enough food to survive, to sell the fruits, to buy new equipment, more plants, and then eventually pay off your farm and win the game. Um, really my focus is on just giving the player a big sandbox to play around in and uh, if they also want to try to win the game that'll be fine too but mostly I just want to give people freedom to plant stuff where they want and have fun um, interacting and watching the interactions between all the plants and uh, the environment. Another goal is to have all of the plants grow and change over time uh, they're all sped up right now, they won't be going quite this fast in the actual game. Um, but I want the player to be able to go up to a plant and see it growing and notice that all of the plants are slightly different from each other. And uh, I've got some good systems working for that, fairly efficient too. Um, like this bubble shroom thing, um, the other day I had over 2,000 of these things growing at once and still holding 90 frames a second. So. My goal is to have in the final game, you know, you should hopefully be able to have like, you know, a thousand plants going at once. So I want a big, lively area full of moving, growing, active things. And uh, so far, so good. <laughs> These are uh, 
I just have four or five plants growing right now. But they're all working pretty good. I don't have the actual harvesting mechanic implemented yet. The system is there, but it's just not, uh, I don't have it working yet. So eventually the player will, for instance, come up to one of these plants when it has a fruit ready and they'll just reach out and pluck the fruit off and then put it in their backpack or whatever I figure out for a storage solution and uh, sell it or replant it to grow another plant of the same kind. And I'm hoping to uh, make it friendly for both seeded and room scale. So right now I have your standard um, kind of gamepad controls mapped to the sticks where you can move forward, back, left, right and uh, change your rotation with the right stick. And that doesn't bother me. I, I don't get VR sickness very easily. Uh, this kind of movement does make me kind of shift my body in anticipation of the forces that never happen, but uh, otherwise it doesn't bother me. But I am going to explore some alternate modes of movement. Maybe even um, something similar to um, the one I just showed off for Chunky Orbits, that kind of pinch and pull movement. Or um, one of my testers came up with the idea for using like a ski pole motion which I think would work great on a terrain like this and you just go like this to move yourself forward so I'll be experimenting with that as well. Um, these trees will also be things that you plant and they grow although they won't be growing as smoothly as some of the other plants because these are some of them are pretty complicated and I, my animation skills are poor <laughs> but they're going to be growing slower so the little stages of growth won't be as noticeable and they'll last these tree type things will last much longer than um, normal uh, the other plants. Uh, I also have kind of the standard teleport mechanic built in. This is all programmer art of course, especially this guy. Although if I leave him in there too long I'll get attached to him. <laughs> so I gotta do something else for that pretty soon. Um, but you can teleport by holding down the button. And you can also change your teleport or your facing direction when you teleport, kind of like you could in Far Lands, or um, I guess that new Epic game has the same same deal. But I think it's really nice to be able to change direction while you teleport. And to do that with the system I have right now, you just you hold down your thumb button and then point with the left analog stick where you want to face. So it makes it very easy to get around and look at what you want to look at. And here's a good example of what I'm talking about of plants always moving and shifting. Like this plant is always moving and uh, changing its shape throughout its whole lifetime. And you notice because I'm, uh, I'm very close, it's updating very rapidly. If I back off, it'll only update every half second or every second or so. And that's one way I'm squeezing some extra um, performance out of all this stuff. Uh, this gray stuff here, I'm calling it the gray goo. It's kind of like a, a pest or a disease that would be roaming around and if you don't take care of it and it contacts your plants it would kill your plants. And uh, that would be kind of the main adversary in the game is going to be the different pests or problems that happen with your crops and what you do to uh, fix that. Um, I also want to play around with scale in the game. The, the plants are all kind of oversized right now but I think I'm going to make them even bigger relative to a human uh, I got a human scale thing over here somewhere, this guy. Um, and right now I have it so you can zoom up and be a super giant walking around your farm. Uh, that Dota 2 VR viewer is awesome. It's one of the coolest things I've done in VR. And I want to kind of capture that feeling um, in my game where you can be towering over your landscape and then all of a sudden you could. Uh, be down amongst it uh, walking around inside of it. It's just a really cool feeling and it kind of emphasizes that the sense of scale that you get in VR which is so amazing that visceral sense of yeah this is big this thing's big or this thing's tiny and I really like the way the plants are when they're big so I think I'm going to exaggerate the scale of it even more and it'll actually have the benefit of filling up the space more because uh, I want it to be a, a lot of stuff happening in the space and this is still, I mean, I've limited the space because of the systems I have in place for the soil and stuff, 
uh, but it's a pretty big space. It, uh, it doesn't look as very big when it's empty, but uh, I've learned that these kind of spaces feel bigger the more stuff you put in them. So I'm excited about playing with the scale of this stuff too. So yeah, that's uh, basically what I got working right now. My next steps are going to be to get the harvesting mechanic working so that I can walk up to a plant that's ready to go and pluck its fruit. I still don't know what to do with uh, the inventory. I, I would really like for all of the fruits and seeds that you keep to actually exist in the world at all times, but I don't know how I'm going to mechanically do that. So. I may end up using like a magic backpack or something that most other games, but I'm still working on that. And of course this is all uh, just prototype stuff. Although I am thinking of having a, a control pad on your arm that you kind of turn your arm, pops up with all your options and uh, maybe your inventory. Um, but yeah, uh, there'll be simple intuitive ways to get to all the controls and whatnot. And there'll also be, um, this is just temporary, but uh, you'll have an indoor space where you can go to kind of uh, relax in between gardening sessions, maybe get the news from the home world if I have time and resources to add a story. I've got a backstory worked out. I'm not the greatest storyteller, but it might be that I can include uh, a, some nice story and at least add some flavor and some uh, character to the, the game world. And you'll also be able to, uh, that's why you'll probably go to order things from the catalog, like new new equipment, like these, uh, this would be kind of like one of your uh, sprinkler systems that you could buy and place down so you don't have to go out and water and plants by hand, things like that. Maybe even have a trader show up once in a while that has different equipment, like exotic equipment, something like that. So. So yeah, there you go. If, if this is something that you're interested in, uh, go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I have more of these videos as I go along. You can uh, check out my website, brainblinks.com or Twitter. I, I post stuff more often on Twitter than my website. I, I just realized my website, I don't even have Chunky Orbits announced on there. <laughs> uh, uh, and my Twitter handle is at Kitchen Dawn. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and if you have any ideas about something that you'd like to see in a game like this, feel free to send them my way. I'd love to hear them. I love getting feedback and ideas from the, the community and other players. It really helps a lot. So, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye.